Hey, Sash. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone that has Sagittarius in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Sagittarius that watches, okay? This could be for anyone that's taken, single, loosely involved, married, I don't give a damn, okay? If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, all right? So let's see, let's get right into it. Your overall energy is boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Then you also have the golden mirror, okay? Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. Then you also have abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So let's see what's going on. Looks like majority of you focus on your money, okay? Focus on your coins, okay? Some of y'all are traveling or making plans to travel. Some of y'all just focus on you right now, okay? So in the recent past, Knights of Wands, okay, traveling energy, um, but definitely Sagittarian energy, and the High Priestess, okay. Um, these two wanted to come out together, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna just take it, because a lot of y'all looks like you were dealing with someone who was very in and out of your life. Um, I get secret life, is what I'm getting. Someone was leading a double life, is what I kind of got there. Um, someone could have been hiding secrets from you. Okay, this is someone who's very in and out of your life. You don't know who this person is. They may be a fire sign or a Pisces, okay? Um, this may be someone who's very attractive, very charismatic. Um, someone that's kind of knows what they're doing when, and when it comes to having third party situations. They may like to get around, if you know what I mean, okay? Um, and I feel like there were a lot of secrets in the past. You may have actually gone ghost about on this person, okay? There may have been a point of uh, silent treatment maybe in the past. But with the high priestess here, I get double life. Someone like coming towards you, um, being one way and then going towards another and kind of being with them in the same way. All right, little, little, double life, okay? Got a little Hannah Montana over here. Tell me about the past, okay? Why do two cards keep wanting to come out? This, I'm talking about this This reading is full of double cards. Ace of Swords and the Two of Wands, yeah. Look how this, look at this, okay. When the fucking thing focuses, there we go, Two of Wands. You see how this person is looking two ways? Yeah, see, hell no. Um, This is gonna be some drama, I know it. It's gonna be some, this is gonna be a fucking mess. Um, <laughs> Cause I feel like someone's playing both sides with you and someone else, okay? I do see a little bit of player energy here with you and someone. Um, I feel like your intuition knows this. Your intuition picked up on this fairly quickly is what I'm getting here. This Ace of Swords, it's like you have a knowing without actually speaking on it. Some of you actually did speak on it. Um, but for a lot of you, this is you discovering this with your intuition alone. You may not even have actual proof, but your intuition is screaming at you that this person has somebody else. All right, um, if it's vice versa and you're the one doing this to them, their intuition is screaming that you're doing this. Okay, current energy is the page of swords and renewal. This is you getting the evidence. I feel like there may have been some communication or maybe you peeped something that made you awaken to whatever's going on or you could have heard some gossip. Someone could have came to you and told you some truth um, or you lurked and found something out. All right, this also could be communication about uh, a renewal, a revival, this person trying to um, have a second chance with you. This also could be what this is. Tell me about the Page of Swords. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the type to take action, so this could be you lurking to see what's going on. And the, oh shit, then the Queen of Cups. Yeah, then maybe some, ooh, some of you may have met the third party. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. This could be a fire sign, water sign, or air sign. Some of y'all may have talked to the person. I'm getting someone came to somebody as a woman or as a man. Oh, let me. Oh, okay, okay. This will be this will be doing today. Bottom of the deck. Let me remind you. T not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries, and still angry. Then at the bottom of this deck is ten of wands. So there's a, there's a lot going on. This is someone that feels walked all over in this relationship, okay? You may have done a lot for this person or vice versa, whoever is the one that's being done wrong. Um, Queen of Cups is here. So I feel like there was some <sighs> communication between you and the third party, it feels like, okay, for some of you. Others of you, you may have heard rumors that someone was sleeping with someone of the same sex as them, for some of you, okay? Uh, this is going in way too many fucking directions. Tell me about the, tell me about renewal and the current energy. Tell me about renewal. This feels like a wake-up call. And it feels like something you waited on. And it feels like some type of communication or clarity that you waited on. Some, what is, why are some of the messages coming in? 
if you had, if you're, if you're resonating with the storyline of someone coming to you as a woman or a man, okay, whichever one you are, the, the third party coming towards you and you're going to the third party, there is an energy of like you've been waiting on this opportunity to talk to the third party or they were waiting on to talk to you. I'm getting that as well. With the three of wands and the nine of wands, somebody here feels very much like this is some bullshit. Like the nine of wands is someone fighting for this connection. Six of coins at the bottom too, dating multiple people. What I'm mainly getting here is that you have some type of clarity um, that you may have found out through another person, whoever the person is, or you peeped something that made you awaken to what's going on in this connection. How you feel about this person is a six of wands. You may feel they are very attractive, very um, successful. You may feel like they have a lot of eyes on them. I'm saying popularity, all right? They have a lot of public recognition, a lot of eyes on them for some reason. Tell me about the six of wands. It could be a Leo you're dealing with three of coins okay you feel like there are um you may be you may feel like they're on the brink of success why is that coming out so good for you it looks like you kind of i don't know how you feel about them though tell me more about how sad feels about this person i don't know if you want a victory with this person the fool i feel like you want a new beginning with this person though capricorn energy aries energy some of y'all want a new beginning with this person so i'm not sure if this is you, this was you doing this why is it pointing at y'all Libra and Scorpio both had the reading pointing at them like they did it wrong, like they did wrong too. So I'm like, I don't know why it's pointing at y'all. Um, but it kind of looks like maybe you were the one that did this. Maybe you want the beginning or if they did something to you, you may want a renewal. You want to just take a risk and see where things go. Okay, how do they feel about you with the Ten of Swords? The end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now and randomly recovering from an addiction. Some of you, I'm not sure if there's any addictions in the connection. Um, codependency could be one of them, it really doesn't matter. This, this person feel like it's over. They may feel backstabbed or betrayed by you. That's why I'm like, why does it feel like it's being pointed at you? But narcissist keeps coming up in everybody's reading too. So they could just be pointing a finger at you and knowing damn well they did this. So I don't know. So tell me about the ten of swords. You know your story better than I do. They feel like you had their. See, it's pointing at you. The seven of cups, Scorpio energy. You also have Gemini here. They point at you. They are looking at you like you kept your options open. You hurt me. You backstabbed me. You walked all over me. Okay. Um, but you want to be getting with them. You want, a leap of faith. you want to take a leap of faith with them. They do feel like huh, two cards of wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. That's all queens that's coming out in the read. Who got hella people? Who got hella people? Somebody got hella people. Somebody got a lot of people. It's not just one person. Somebody got hoes, like out the ass, like out the wazoo. Somebody got people. All queens are coming up in this read. The Empress is not, is not here, but the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles are all showing up. So there's, somebody got hoes, okay? Male or female, somebody got hoes, okay? But how this person feels about you, they may feel like you are their wish fulfillment, okay? Um, but they are, they pissed off with you. The Queen of Swords gives me pissed off energy. They feel like you have their, your options open. They feel kind of hurt or backstabbed or betrayed. Oh, this feels like Jerry Springer. This feels like Jerry Springer. Tell me more about how this person feels. They don't want you. I'm sad. I'm sorry. Four of Cups is here. They feel, I don't know if they, okay. They may feel rejected. Maybe it's not that they feel bored. They may feel bored or discontent within this connection or they feel rejected or both, okay? Um, they feel like maybe they'd be better off by themselves or they feel like you feel like you're better off by yourself, like better in singlehood. What the fuck? Okay. Your advice is the Nine of Wands. Okay. And the Three of Cups came out. You're being told to just be friends. Okay, you've been told to just be friends. Keep your guard up and just be friends. Damn it, just because it's a lot. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're being told to fight for a friendship at least. Okay, Five of Swords is here as well. Okay, this is lose the battle, win the war, accepting that. Okay, and just being friends. Okay, if you can manage to have a friendship with this person. Because a lot of you want a new beginning with this person, whether it's platonic or not. Some of you want, to, want it to be platonic. Um, I feel like some of you just want to make up. Um, some of you, if this was done to you, it's because you want to make up because you don't want to carry this shit. 
okay you don't want to carry this memory of this person like that others of you this person that you did this to this person you're trying to make up what you did okay but i feel like you're being told to just accept that win the battle you know lo lose the battle win the war just be friends with this person have try to have fun with the person all right try to fight for this fight for our friendship um if you can if you don't want to that's fine um you have sag here cancer and aquarius as well there's so much going on in this read there's a lot going on in this read y'all okay um there's a need for you to review people's motives as well keep your guard up ask your friends for advice okay um do what you gotta do i feel like you need to review this person's motives if they did this to you though okay their new future actions towards you switched completely okay queen of wands and the ace of coins they're about to come in for a solid offer they feel like you are potential for someone that they want in their life they do still want you they just act in hurt tell me about this ace of coins they're coming in with a lot of confidence though like they know what's up Four of coins. Yeah, they're still wanting to hold on to you. Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo. All right, Aries, Leo, Sag. They're still wanting you. Is it platonic or romantic? Do they want this to be a platonic or romantic? I'm getting platonic. All right, yeah, just be friends, y'all. Page of coins is here. Just be friends. Some of y'all uh, are, this is your coworker or a, uh, I'm saying coworker or, uh, uh, um, what's to call it? classmate for some of you like you like y'all kind of go back y'all go back a bit um go just just be friends this person still wants you in their life okay nonetheless this feels like an unconditional kind of bond but someone definitely needs to work on themselves okay there's some closure issues or moving on issues that needs to be settled i feel like there is a renewal here though there's someone coming in with a lot of confidence and i feel like it's them whoever this queen of wands is Okay, it could be you or them. It feels like it could be them. They're coming in very confident, okay? They're coming in wanting to add, to want to, to propose a friendship, okay? Um, because right now, they're really not happy with you two not being cool uh, or not being where you used to be. This doesn't, this does not have to be a love relationship, by the way. For a lot of you, this is not giving the most romantic. Now, normally I don't say this because I'm, tr I'm I channel love messages on my on my channel. For a lot of you, this can resonate as a friend who is playing both sides between you and an enemy of yours, and, the, and all of y'all are platonic. Okay, for some, for a lot of you, this does not have to be romantic. It really does not have to be. I don't get a lick of romantic intimacy in this connection whatsoever so for a lot of you y'all just lack that intimacy that a relationship's supposed to have or this is a friend that you're dealing with okay I, that's very rare that a friend would come up in a read but here we go um but yeah they're coming in to be cordial with you and wanting to work together with you and they want to hold on to you okay they are holding back a bit um maybe out of fear but i do see you two trying i, I see this person trying to propose a new beginning with you okay something solid something that won't you know do this again whatever this was okay um your outcome of the five of wands okay drama conflict okay a fight why what the hell five of wands clarify five of wands that's why you're being told to review everyone's motives review this person's motives all right just be just be their friend okay stay platonic just have fun with this person try not to get too serious it is a romantic thing try not to get too serious because what the hell something about the five of wands why is this here the sun okay maybe someone found some freedom or maybe some clarity came into the sun maybe some clarity came up this could be a leo strong leo energy y'all strong leo and sag okay some, something came to light something's coming to light i don't know what it is queen and i'm gonna piss somebody off all over again okay why i'm only focus queen of swords Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, yeah, boom, and then the Queen of Coins at the bottom, okay, so, enlightenment, if this is a romantic connection, someone's going to realize that there are other people still involved, okay, uh, and it's going to start, it's going to start drama, you, it may be some beef between you and the third party, actually, it doesn't have to be you and this person, it could be all three, or four or five of you, how many, however many people there are in this connection, because I feel like there's a lot of people in this connection, tell me about the sun, something's coming to light, is coming to life the oh shit the empress that is the fifth woman to come up in this read <laughs> something okay someone's going to find out someone's pregnant someone's going to find out somebody is pregnant yeah yeah look the magician 
The card is literally the card of creation, okay? Literally the card of creation. Oh, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Someone's gonna find out somebody's pregnant. Someone's gonna be like, okay, let's be friends. Someone's intention may be to make this more than a friendship after a while, and maybe someone gets upset because they find out somebody's pregnant. Be like, damn, like we just got cool again. Now, now I find out somebody's pregnant? Like, I'm sick of this shit. Someone feels walked all over because of this. Someone keeps going back to this connection. This feels like a whirlwind thing. Awesome, uh-uh, see, we're gonna stop this right here. Let's just get some more messages. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? Release this energy, just. Bottom of the deck is children. The bottom of the deck is children. I can't make this up. Can't make this up. Someone's gonna find out somebody is pregnant. Remain platonic or leave the person completely alone. That's your choices, that's it. Leave it alone. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Every card that's coming out talks about releasing an ex. It is safe for you to love, okay? To, with somebody else. It is, oh, it is safe for you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. All right? All right, you guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, others of you, for a lot of you, you got a past life connection coming up, so it's safe for you to love, okay? Just focus on that. Ciao. Good God. Jesus, Devante, Christ.